Hey, this is Ann Riley Caldwell, not your ordinary agent, and I am here. We are talking about tips, tricks, and secrets for real estate buyers, and we're talking about some financial do's and don'ts. Uh, this is also part of a series. Uh, there's a video called The Ten Commandments of Home Buying and mistakes that a lot of, not a lot, but some buyers make uh, that either keeps them from getting pre-approved or even more importantly in this series, we're talking about you are pre-approved, you're looking for a house or you're under contract for a house and you're trying to get to closing. There are 10 at least things that you should not do, particularly without consulting with your lender before you do them. Don't do them and then consult with your lender. That doesn't help. Uh, in order to make sure that once you're pre-approved, you stay pre-approved and we make it to the closing table and you can do those things after closing, but don't do them before. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button. My team and I are putting out videos all the time to help you accomplish your real estate goals and talk about real estate more specifically in the Middle Tennessee area. Okay, so here are the 10 commandments of home buying. We are to commandment number four, which is thou shalt not spend money that you have saved. And that money likely is saved for your down payment and your closing costs, or as I like to call them, your buyer expenses. When you get to closing, there are a number of things that you have to pay. Um, you obviously are paying the purchase price for your property. Most people are having to pay a down payment, whether that's 3% or 10% or whatever percentage that you've worked out with your lender that you would like to put down or have to put down, depending on the loan type. Um, if you have down payment assistance, that's fantastic. If you have some closing cost assistance, that's fantastic. But a lot of people don't. Um, you do have to pay your buyer expenses depending, depending upon what you've negotiated uh, in the sale of your home. But if you do have buyer expenses that you're paying, uh, you have to make sure that whatever money your lender has told you that you need to bring to closing, that you still have that money by the time the closing date comes. Uh, you also may be covering an appraisal gap, um, whether that's negotiated ahead of time in the purchase and sale agreement or whether the appraisal comes in where the purchase price may have to be negotiated and you might have to make up the difference between the purchase price and your loan amount. Um, there's just all kinds of things that can happen in a transaction uh, that you need to be prepared for. So if you have money set aside, whatever you have it designated for that your lender and you have talked about um, that you need at the closing table, please, please, please do not touch that money without talking to your lender. Do not assume anything in a financial transaction. Um, make sure that you ask the questions that you need to ask ahead of time. If you're not sure, call me. I love giving people questions that they can take to the lender and ask them. Uh, we can have a preliminary discussion about some of those things. Um, but you know, once you go under contract, your real goal is to get into that home first and foremost. And a lot of times things that people think they have to do right now can actually wait until after that closing date. So feel free to reach out to me and let's have a conversation. Uh, you can find me at 615-930-0313. You can go to my website, notyouroordinaryagent.com, uh, nyoa.info for short. And uh, there's multiple ways to find me through social media, uh, through the website, etc. Um, I love answering questions. I love partnering with you and consulting with you to help you accomplish your real estate goals. So reach out to me anytime and let's have a discussion and let's get you into a new home or let's get your home sold or whatever it is you want to do. Let's make it happen.